Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's great to be back for another one. Uh, just quickly before I roll onto the clip, I just want to start the video off a day early before I uh, film the wiring. Um, basically, one or well, two things pretty much. One, I couldn't film installing the bags. Uh, I had my youngest daughter with me, having a camera set up was just not going to be achievable with a two-year-old um, at all. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me actually installing the bag, but I will roll uh, some pictures through. Um, and secondly, I need your help. I need everybody's help at the moment. Um, basically, I did have someone lined up to create a logo for me and the channel so I could probably get well try to get some shirts or jumpers made up um, unfortunately that hasn't worked two months ago they told me it'd take two hours uh, four hours to make about four different kinds of styles yeah two months later that's the longest four hours of my life I think but yeah anyway so i need your help if you guys are tech savvy can create a logo for me i'm happy to pay um please leave a comment or jump over to the facebook page i'll put a link down in the description as always and hit me up with a message um let me know if you're interested name your price i'll tell you what i want which is pretty simple um but me and technology just don't work. Hence why a couple of my videos I've edited have been just shit outs. So yeah, me and technology don't work. So I want the help from you guys. Please, if you know anyone or if you can do it yourself, jump over to the Facebook page, send me a message and um, yeah, send us your price and we'll try and go from there. Um, and if I do get some shirts, jumpers made up, you guys will be the, whoever does it will be the first one to receive a shirt and jumper, um, free of charge. No, no cost, no cost for postage at all. I'll send it straight to you as a thank you, um, for following. And I mean, doing all that for me means, means the world really. So that's where I'm going to stop this sort of intro, but yeah, anyway, sit back, watch the video. I'll try and get as much good footage as I can with a two-year-old running around, but yeah, dad life. And then you can see me struggle to get the wiring done <laughs> so I can get my jack back. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's good to have you back for another one. Uh, in today's video, uh, I've got the bags already installed on the ship box. Um, I took the springs out. Uh, they're there. But I took them out and I put the bags in, lowered it, found a little bit of a problem. I can't get my jack back out. There's the handle there. And the jack's stuck under the car. So, apart from that, back in the sort of background or behind the scenes, I've also been just mucking around with a few things in here. And I've got a new speaker for some dirty beats. Uh, Brought some floorboards just to try and do something a little bit different in the back here. Uh, I've mounted everything. I've now got the lines from the valve block. All the wires are tucked in under the tank there for the ECU, uh, the E level plus. Back of the car is still a pig's die. Uh, apart from that, I've also received my last three 1000cc injectors, if I haven't already mentioned it. I know I did on Facebook, but I'm not too sure if I have on 
YouTube yet. And I've sent my wastegate and a couple of other parts over to Dane at Cornfed Boost, so uh, he reckons that he should be able to get started on the new manifolds soon. I'm not too fussed when, but um, I've still got to finish paying it all off, but he should have enough now to be able to order all the parts that he'll need and get a start on making them, which is um, super cool. So apart from that, not a whole lot else is new. Front yard, still a pig's die. Front seat, everything's a pig's die. The other thing I want to do today is try and get this light off here and thrown on the ute because there's no point there's, a, there's no point trying to um well there's no point really leaving it on the car here because yeah i don't use this really at night so she's still dirty and all the rest but yeah just been busy with work and everything else so anyway i'm gonna get a start on just cleaning this i'm not gonna film it because there's quite a bit, bit of shit that I need to get rid of to be able to run the wires straight up to the engine bay, to the battery. So I'll get started on it anyway. Pull a few of the shit out that I don't need. I'll get the bin right there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll mount you somewhere and try and get some footage of me running the cables. I know today's video might be a little bit boring, but hopefully later when I get some power to the tank and compressor and everything, I'll be able to lift the back of the car up, get my jack back and have a little bit of a play. The height sensors aren't in yet. Um, reason for that, see they're still here, both of them, and all the wiring and everything. The reason I haven't got them in just yet is I'm just waiting for Reese over at Air Ride in Melbourne just to confirm where they should be mounted on the car. That's probably the hardest battle I've had at the moment is just trying to find out where they actually mount or where is the best spot or most common spot to mount them. Um, I'm not really having a lot of luck in that area, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll be able to figure something out. But yeah, main goal today, I want to try and get all the wiring done from here all the way up to the front so I can A, retrieve my jack and B, still be able to you know, lift it and move it until the height sensors go in. So, yeah, I'll quit talking shit and I'll start cleaning and set yous up in a little bit. Just where I've gotten so far, I've got power lead it's the main power lead uh to the relay that's the plug down there so this big six mil is the power feed from the battery i've got a shorter one just there that'll go straight to the compressor there's a yellow lead that comes from that that's pretty simple yellow to yellow pretty easy and black well i don't really have to explain black so basically this one here, the main power feed for the compressor and you know, everything else involved, is going to run right next to the battery 12 volt for the ECU. That's nice and easy. Air ride as well, supply all the fittings, circuit breaker and relay to go with everything and everything that they sell they modify to suit whatever brand of suspension that you've gone with so i've gone with accuair compressor relay you basically eliminate that one there's your whole wiring loom for that loom yellow one goes straight to the accuair one um there's a lot of other setups that they do like well not different setups but I think there's a couple of brands. There's AccuAir and then there's Airlift, I think. And both brands are American-based, but Airride will 
make their kit to suit to suit the other one pretty much and it's really simple looking at it i got a bit of a headache because i got a little bit confused this is how i wire shit up in just a bird's nest i love it not really but yeah their instructions are pretty simple the wiring's all pretty simple um so hopefully i don't kook anything up and i don't know really dramatic like catch the car on fire but yeah anyway i'll mount yours i'll do a couple of other little bits and pieces to get me sorted and then i'll mount yours in the middle of the car looking down and probably get a bit of a time lapse so First little issue I found, battery tower bolt. I don't think that's going to reach the battery. Just want to add that that's not, um, that's not air rods issue. That's not an issue with air rod. That's AccuAir. I think when they make these kits over in America. Correct me if I'm wrong, fairly sure a lot of American cars nowadays have their battery actually in the boot. Um, so if that's the case, then, you know, obviously everything else is in the boot. So, yeah. But anyway, nevertheless, I've got plenty of park brake wire there. It's blue, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I've got no other wire. But that's fine. I'll just join it, crimp it, heat shrink it, all the rest of that other bullshit. Run that into the engine bay. Uh, the orange one is the ignition. So the ignition one, the orange one there, I'll just tap straight into the radio. Park brake, just go to the wire on the park brake. If I haven't mentioned it before, which I'm fairly certain I have, the park brake wire works with the ECU, so as soon as the park brake is off, it'll actually raise the back of the car. Um, while you're driving, if somebody, say your kids even, or someone, your mate, passenger seat wanted to be a wanker and put your bags down, it won't actually allow you because it'll sense that the park brake is off and it'll just assume you're driving. So, good little safety feature anyway. Righto guys, well, sorry I kind of fast forwarded a bit. Um, it's now about 1.30, I've got to pick my kids up in and out. I am dying, so ready to get in the pool. And I'm about to, I've just quickly done all the wiring. Um, I just rushed it for now, just so I can get my jack out because it's kind of sitting on top of the, uh, I think the fuel tank's kind of sitting on top of the, um, on top of the jack. So, but I'll let the earth, earth down there. Uh, all the wires are underneath that. Go to there. I've ran all the power cable, power wires up to here. It's not pretty, but right now, all I'm thinking about is a beer and bath. Wait, did I just say bath? Bath, bath, bath. Well, it was that hot that I couldn't speak properly. I meant pool. So, I 
I've just run around and done a couple of last minute checks. I'm pretty sure everything's good. Um, so, here goes nothing, I guess. So, while editing the video, I realised I didn't film an outro. <clears throat> so that was pretty clever of me, but yeah. It's about two weeks after I had the bags in right now. Um, I should have got the, bag, uh, the height sensors installed this week, but I've kind of been a little bit lazy and sidetracked with everything else that I've kind of haven't gotten around to it just yet. Um, so this is obviously going to be a two-parter. So this is obviously the first part, and then... Part two will be the height sensors going in and probably take it for a bit of a drive and get some photos and stuff in a little bit of a nicer place than my front yard. So, but yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of a play now with the remote. So that's aired out completely. full compression well full I don't know full inflation you should say you got the option to go down individual sides as well on the keypad um, so you've got individual sides or you've just got rear front these numbers here will work once the height sensors are in because it'll calibrate to the different sites and the settings that you can make it um, one is obviously pretty low, two, right height, three. It's a little bit higher, probably like that, just to get over those high spots like um, speed bumps and stuff like that. So it's connected. This is using the mobile app. 151 PSI in the tank. The compressor stopped. Can't hear it now. So what I have figured out with this is that you can't hold it down and it do what you can do with the controller. This just does it in sort of movements or short sort of distances. So. Uh, 
that's probably pushing the absolute max in the bags. Uh, we can get in there and stand up oh, the GoPro a bit. Nah. I don't know if you saw anything there, I couldn't. So what we'll do now is we'll go down. So it does it in little increments. The real bottom arrow should just completely air it out, but again, all my phone does is vibrate, so it's it'll be because the height sensors aren't in. But once the height sensor's going, you'll be able just to hold down completely aired out, and the whole system will air out. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the fun that I've got to play with now. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more footage and stuff like that, but. Like I said, once the height sensors are in and I'm not in my front yard, somewhere a bit nicer. But yes, that's it. That's part one. Done. So stay tuned for part two. Um, it is coming. I will get there and I will get to it. Uh, I have received an email from Reese over at Air Ride. So he sent me a couple of pictures on where they have installed the height sensors in the past. So I've got a couple of options on how I can mount them anyway, but we'll just wait and see how we go. I'll figure it out. Can't be too hard, so that should hopefully happen. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get stuck into it or it'll have to be next break. Um, but I will get to it. Dane has also started the manifolds. He's put together the two collectors. Um, so now he's, I think he's on to fabbing up all the, the ports from the heads uh, to compensate, especially on the passenger side for the aircon. Then he said he might have to tweak the uh, crossover as well. So exciting times anyway. I'm keen to see what he can produce. Um, he produces some nice kits. I've seen a couple of them now, including one on his car, Ethel, and the other one that... Reese has got down at RK Garage, um, both very nice kits. He's done plenty of them and he knows what he's doing, so full faith that uh, it's going to look absolutely mean. It's going to be good. The car's going to be able to breathe a lot more. So Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching part one. Sorry it wasn't all that exciting. Part two hopefully will be a bit better. We'll take it out. Um, I'll go find a park. Somewhere or just yeah, somewhere a bit nicer and we'll get some some proper footage and stuff like that. It, it'll be yeah, it'll be good fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh also just from the start of the video, if you know how to make a logo or anything, please jump over to the Facebook page, send me a message. Um we'll try and get that sorted, like I said. Whoever helps me out and makes them, not only will I pay you, but once I get some shirts and stuff made up, you'll be the first one to receive it, all free of charge. Um, that'll be just the appreciation from me to you for for making that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video if you're new here. Subscribe, share around. Let's, um, let's get a little bit more people on board and... Um, yeah, hopefully this year is going to be a good year and soon the old nugget's going to go through a bit of a transformation. Turbo, new exhaust, obviously. And maybe, maybe a bit of a lick of paint. Right, we'll see how we go. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.